Welcome to Roleplay Roulette, where we take the bullets for you. So I'm sure everyone remembers our fifth episode. Nope. Me neither. I, okay, so everybody that matters. Anyway, it was back in the long, long ago, but we gave our review of the Iron Kingdom's full metal fantasy RPG. Oh, right. So what? So there's a spin-off game, and we're a play in it. But... but no buts. We reviewed Rifts twice. You're going along with me on this. Fine. Fine. This month, we take a walk on Amorin's wild side with Iron Kingdom's Unleashed by Privateer Press. Unleashed is set in the same well-developed steampunk fantasy world as its more industrial counterpart, but looks at it from a very different perspective. Full Metal Fantasy focuses primarily on the industrial nations, mostly the eponymous Iron Kingdoms. Unleashed instead follows the adventures of savage peoples of Amorin's wilderness and gives players the opportunity to play heroes with some bite. Replacing the usual elves and dwarves are the boar-like pharaoh, the cold-blooded gator men and the bog trogs, and the feral, shape-shifting thorn. You know, I'm starting to see why you were so hyped for this. What are you talking about? No, no, Fox is right. I seem to remember someone saying something about... I need to see some horde support in the RPG, preferably before I hit retirement age. Yeah, that. That right there. Guilty as charged. Unleashed basically allows players and GMs to incorporate creatures and factions from War Machine's sister game, Hordes. If you wanted to join the mysterious druids of the Circle Orboros, fight to defend the Trollkin Creels, or build a mighty pharaoh tribe to raid the town builders, this is the game for you. While the arcane technology of Mechanica is still alive and well in the Iron Kingdoms, Unleashed characters are much less likely to rely on it. Instead, characters use primal fetishes and charms, ritually empowered weapons, or good old-fashioned tooth and claw to give them an edge. All in all, it's the same vibrant setting as before, but with a significant change in tone and a wealth of new options, factions, and adventure possibilities. Iron Kingdoms Unleashed uses the same barely tweaked revamp of the wargame engine as before, and we already more or less covered the gist of it. Suffice it to say that it works well enough, but the RPG-specific mechanics still feel like an afterthought. Still, there are some new innovations. There are several new races in the book, and a few reprints. The arbitrary fluff restrictions on archetype race career combinations are unfortunately still around, but don't feel quite as limiting. All the races presented have some cool options. The new hotness in Unleashed is the advent of the Harnesser magical tradition, and the Warlock careers that use it. Warlocks are the warcasters of the Hordes factions and draw their power from the primal rage of bonded monsters called war beasts. The book contains rules for bonding, training, and controlling war beasts from a variety of warlock traditions. These allow you to unleash a hungry troll on your enemies, summon up reptilian horrors from the swamp, or bring life to geomantic walled constructs. Try not to let your war beasts die though. Without them, a warlock is like a sports car with no gas. And that's no good. Oh, and before we forget to mention them, like we somehow did last time, an in-game resource called Feed Points can be spent by players to bend the rules a bit, or even cheat death. They can also be spent to activate powerful special abilities. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I've been fighting this stomach bug thing today. Well, it's about time you got here. These guys have been bumming around the campsite waiting for you, so we'll pick it up when you get back. Last session, you managed to find the hideout of the Bandit King. After besting his guards, he captured him, and on the way back to Count Floppelschlong's castle, so he can collect the bounty. You had stepped out to scout the area while the others set up camp. When you return, Erasmus is stirring a bubbling pot of stew, and Sorlock is tending to a spit with cuts of meat smoking over a fire. After weeks of chill rations and living rough, it smells amazing. Awesome. You guys, so you guys actually found us some fresh food? Indubitably, my good man. We even managed to find some local herbs for seasoning. Onions help. I say, did you have any luck covering our escape? Sure did. Left him a nice, obvious false trail to follow. They'll be far too busy to find the real one. Capital, old boy! By the time they catch on, we'll have delivered their boss to the local lord, collected our bounty, and departed about our merry old way. Dinner ready. I say, do have some, my good man. You must be famished. Oh, well, thanks, guys. So I figure if we... Real quick, your prisoner starts to whimper and struggle. What's his damage? Oh, him. Uh, pulled his stitches, I imagine. So, how's the stew? Oh, my compliments to the chef. I think you guys were right about the onions and, uh, at, w wait, stitches? He didn't have stitches. I check on his majesty over there. What's he talking about? He's thrashing around quite a bit. His left leg that was present when you left is now reduced to a bloody stump. It seems that in his struggling, it has reopened the gory wound. Okay, so would one of you care to explain what happened to his leg? Ah, that. Well, he wouldn't stop trying to run away. And we were hungry. 
And humans, for being so slender, have a shocking amount of lean roast in the legs. I... I don't even... You mean... You... you fed me a person? Man soup. What's wrong? The bounty didn't say we had to bring back every last little piece of him. He's still alive, so we'll still get paid. Still counts. But... but it's... it's a man. Right. It's not like we fed you an elf, which I imagine would taste like tofu. Whiny tofu that isn't grateful for a good hot meal. Bad manners! I'll, uh... I have to go. Is he getting sick about something in-game? Thanks, guys. He better make it to the bathroom. I just had the carpets cleaned. How about that? These soft skins throw away perfectly good meat just because it could talk to you. And yet some of them are so desperately poor that they resort to banditry, preying on their own. What sort of nonsense is that? Socioeconomic disparity. All right, so what do you guys think of Iron Kingdom? I'm, I mean, I'm biased. I love the Iron Kingdoms, <laughs> and I, I can't help but love new options for it, so. I think the game has improved dramatically. There's a lot more options, but there's also a whole lot more of that thing where they don't give you options. It does seem like they're still doing that thing where they're kind of stereotyping races into a particular role. Yeah. yeah. So much so that the, like, in order for a race to be particularly cool in this game, it has to have classes based around it and nobody else. I mean, really, the only uh, kind of left out characters in Unleashed are humans. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, for Pete's sake, yeah. the humans don't need any more. No, with the, with the support <laughs> they got with uh, with Kingdoms, Nations, and Gods I mean, and just, some of the other things. <laughs> there, there are no human-centric classes in Unleashed for the same reason there's no straight pride parades. <laughs> I gotta say, the options in this one for species are way more interesting. Way more diverse. Oh yeah, lots, lots than more. They were in the a lot more interesting than the first one. I think the problem is is that you basically with gobbers, and I, this is a big to provide that little bit. Yellow. Words! Yeah, like, language. <laughs> what is that you're reading, good Hamlet? Yeah, yeah. Cadulo Batagan. But no, um, <laughs> okay, but, that but, would uh, be a way better play. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there's something eldritch in a state of ten mark. <laughs> I do like that warlocks, by default, all of the warlock careers begin with a war beast. They seem to have learned a lot of the lessons from their past mistakes, and that's yeah. good. That's progress. I, I want to play Gator Man. I see you run. You know, several times I wouldn't turn down playing this game, yeah. but I don't think I would ever run it. It seems to me like you like the hordes angle way better, yeah. and I find it to be bog standard fantasy. Yeah. And I like the Iron Kingdoms angle a lot better. I found Full Metal Fantasy to be interesting, but I really like playing monsters. Yeah. It's my yeah. favorite thing to oh, do. Oh, yeah, and Unleashed when will. they brought those in, I was just way more interested. Yeah. yeah, Unleashed will absolutely give you creature feature. <laughs> it's really hard for me to personally recommend it just because there is so much diversity and reaction that you can have from it. Yeah. But, I, you know, like I said, if you like a lot of crunch, if you don't mind crunch, and if you don't mind house calls or your players are better yeah. willing to just take what's written. Definitely give it a try. Absolutely great game. What do you what do you, how do you feel about? I feel that if you want a game that is more structured, especially if you're uncomfortable running more open-ended games, then this oh. would be really good for you. I think they would like it. Bam. So good it's, for it's, you. you're saying it's good for players that become overwhelmed when yes. options are yes. too Yep. When, you know, oh, yeah. options aren't yeah. um, structured enough. Yes, yes, There's exactly. There's not enough guidance. And I couldn't I find the way to phrase that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's completely valid way to approach games. Yeah. I will recommend this game. It's a gorgeous book. It's a solid combat engine. I mean, if you like that kind of crunch, if you like looking for this is great. swoops, this is a great game for you. And if you are interested in seeing more from us, then take a walk on the subscribe side. And we'll see you next month. Thanks, Bye. Guys. Bye. Well, okay, now nobody gets to be a warcaster. Reroll. But no. Reroll. Okay, fine. Cry baby. Well, except for the NPC that I'm running, that is. I'm a gobber thief cutthroat. I specialize in shadowy doings and knife work. Where I come from is none of your business. Sounds good. What's your name? Billy Bo Bob McStabbit.